I'll start with a disclaimer. Since it's been over 40 years since I've been in Vietnam, some of the commentary may not be accurate. I was sent to Vietnam in June of 1971 with nine months left to go in the service. I was stationed at a place called Phu Loi and I was a searchlight repairman while I was there. These are some of the scenes of the compound. I bought a Super 8 millimeter camera, but as you can see I wasn't a very good photographer. Plus some quality was lost in converting the 40 year old film to digital. But you can get a general idea of what things were like. Here's some of the guys I was with in Vietnam, but I don't remember any of their names. Well, I do know him, that's me. Water was hauled and stored in these tanks. These were the barracks. And this is what my room looked like inside of the barracks. Looks like he's in a hurry. Ah, there's the outhouse. This is the motor pool area. You'll see the shop I worked out of later. There's the truck they use for hauling the water. I was assigned to a machine gun battery unit, which supported the fire bases out in the field. These are some of the Quad 50 machine guns. They'd mount these in the back of two and a half ton trucks or put them on the ground in the fire bases. As you can see, each team got to name its own guns. This is the electronic shop I worked out of. Actually, work is stretching it since no units broke while I was there. So Kish and I, the other technician, plates cards most of the time. The USO put on many shows while we were there. Seems like at least once a month there was a show put on. Plus every evening they had a movie. Most of the entertainers were Vietnamese performing songs in the 60s. This is the area right outside of the gate at Phu Loi. After I got caught playing cards too many times, the first sergeant decided to make me an alternate mail clerk. That meant that once a week I had to drive to Long Bend, which was about 15 miles away, and pick up the movie for the night. Oh, and to pick up the mail, of course. I did get to see the town and countryside while driving to Long Bend, but sometimes they sent me to Saigon. Saigon was about 30 miles away, if I recall correctly. There was one guy, Ted Milios, who I was with at Fort Campbell for BASIC, at Fort Belver for AIT, and then at Fort Dix for pop-up target repairs. From Fort Dix, we were both sent to Vietnam. He was assigned to Long Bend while I was at Phu Loi. So when I'd make my run up to Long Bend, I'd stop to see him. There he is, doing his dance. Being an alternate mail clerk, 
once a month on payday, I had to fly out to all the fire bases to get money orders from anybody who wanted one. Flying in the helicopters, I got to see a lot more of the countryside. There were an awful lot of bomb craters in certain parts of the country. Firebase Carmen was a typical firebase. There were just circles out in the middle of the field or the jungle, wherever need be. I think the unit supported eight to ten of these firebases. I don't remember exactly. I guess the army had some reason of picking the spots where they were at. I know one thing, the base camp was a heck of a lot more comfortable than the firebases. I had never seen the 50 caliber machine guns fired, so these guys gave me a demonstration. It really tore up the countryside. While in Vietnam, fire base pace came under heavy attack. I was almost sent out to the field. I think I was two names away. Even though I didn't have any infantry training, they just needed warm bodies. I'm glad they stopped the attack. When the inspector general was coming to inspect the base camp, the first sergeant decided to send as many people out of base as he could. So he sent me out to the top of this mountain where they had a fire base. I don't remember the name. I do remember I spent about two weeks there. They did have a searchlight up in the top of the hill there, but other than that, it was not related to my job. the latrine they used. They did have an in-country R&R area that they used, called Vung Tau. I got to go once. These are the barracks at Vung Tau, and here are the beaches. You could go into the town at Vung Tau, and I got some pictures.
This is the airstrip at Fuloi. On payday, when I had to go out to the fire bases, I'd walk down to the airstrip, which was about four blocks from my barracks, and I'd hitchhike a ride on whatever helicopter was going to the fire base I needed to go to. When I finished at that fire base, I'd wait out the landing pad for the next helicopter to take me to another fire base. On leaving Vietnam, you had to be drug tested. This was the place. <laughs> 